How'd you get that? How does that picture make you feel? How, how'd you get that? It doesn't matter. I just want to dig a little. How does that sketch make you feel? Awful. Why does it make you feel awful? How would it make you feel? Seeing the thing that, that murdered you, all of your friends right in front of you. It's pretty cool. Um, definitely leads you on, uh, has you wondering what's happening with the uh, individual, uh, the character Kyle. Um, the answer kind of is muffled. I mean, you get an idea you're dealing with a somewhat deranged person, but uh, there's some questions that are, uh, I guess you could pose that um, kind of, if you pull the thread, it might fall apart. But you know what? For six minutes, they do uh, invoke a feeling. It's uh, It's got a, uh, just a good tone to it. So yeah, I recommend checking yeah, it this out. This one is particularly exciting and intriguing. You can actually feel the nervousness and the anxiety of the character um, you don't really know what's going on but it is very um, entertaining you really want to know what happened and you kind of know but it is very well done I love the dialogue both characters are awesome um, great casting so I thought this was very good I would love to watch a feature film about this story I found it very intriguing I thought the lead actor who uh, you know the protagonist is uh, was a very good actor and he really kind of uh, gave a very layered performance and um, I wasn't sure at first um, if he was who it seems like he ends up becoming uh, so uh, I found the storytelling quite Interesting because I wasn't quite sure where it was going to go and it was very satisfying by the time I got to the end that uh, he almost had like a Joker quality about him, which is kind of fun to watch. If there was one word to describe how I felt emotionally throughout this film, it was uncomfortable. <laughs> and I think that was the point. Um, right off from the jump, I didn't trust the therapist. Um, it didn't feel like he was really there to provide help and support for this boy. It did feel like an interrogation and that he was, he kind of had an ulterior motive. So I felt really bad for the boy. Um, and then, you know, there was this, the perspective change where the boy kind of has this, this flashback um, and he kind of takes on this new persona. And I was like, oh, that was a weird, it's like, it's like a delusion, you know, that didn't happen. But then he goes to the bathroom and it did happen and it was him. And first of all, that monster, that mask is terrifying. Um, yeah, I was really uncomfortable the whole time. Uh, it was great. <laughs> and I think that the camera angles also really help to, to sell that um, and really uh, punch it on that level of discomfort. I think that the filmmaker did a really good job in creating this like dramatic suspenseful story in such a short amount of time um and great job to both of the actors who just did a stellar job i mean this one is, it's it's really uh well acted it's shot well it's really uh it's interesting and like i feel like the director does a great job at um playing with tension and and kind of this uh, suspense and danger and everything that's so like inherently creepy about this um, this short. The mask is great. I feel like yeah the the casting in the PD was like I, I, it was just yeah it was well done. I, I really enjoyed it. It was like short and sweet. Um, checked all the boxes for a horror. Like, initially, like I didn't trust the therapist. I definitely thought that it felt like he had some maybe hidden motives. So they played that part up really, really nicely. I also thought that the way that it was physically shot was really interesting because there weren't a whole lot of shots with both of them together. Um, there were a couple, but for the most part, it was very, very intercut of the therapist and then of Kyle. And I thought that that was really inter like that was really well done. And an interesting take on it because there was clearly like not like miscommunications that were going on but there was clearly some like mistrust and some avoidance in general 
um, kind of from both of their parts because the things that Kyle did kind of like clap back at the therapist with like when he was getting defensive of like why are you accusing me or whatever else like because of the nature of how the therapy session went like having it really cut back and forth I think really added to the um, kind of emotion and feeling that they were trying to give. Uh, very effective use of close-ups and camera angles and distorted angles to uh, represent the distortions that we have going on in our minds. Um, it's a very jarring look at um, the mind's perspective. I thought this film was full of consistently and the camera shots were really smooth um, with, hand with handling the camera and with the back and forth cutting. Um, I thought that the talking head shots to the action shots were really smooth and planned really well. Um, I also thought that the transitions between creating and allowing the viewers see what's inside Kyle's head, I thought that was really cool and interesting and that also went really well. And as well, like also the lighting, creating with, <laughs> with the lighting, um, I thought it was pretty cool creating the dramatic moods um, in a timely matter, which I think played a really important role for this film. Um, the filmmakers really know how to throw out a twist, I'll say that. When the psychiatrist said that he should accept himself, I don't think he meant accepting the evil parts. But um, I like the eerie music. Uh, especially when used for the scene in the restroom and uh, was a really good way to end too.